So welcome also in our name. I will start with the short time genesis of our criminal code of Slovenia, and then Maya will continue uh, our, our section. So after the World War II, uh, Slovenia was part of Yugoslavia, which was a communist state and had a major influence uh, from the Soviet Union. But then the tensions began between uh, Soviet Union and Yugoslavia, and in 1974, Yugoslavia uh, wrote a new constitution for itself, which gave greater sovereignty to, to each of the states that uh, constituted uh, this federation. And in 1977, uh, we received our first Slovenian criminal code, um, but we were still part of Yugoslavia, so Yugoslavia had uh, major influence on the general part of our criminal code and on some uh, criminal offenses in the special part. Now, in 1991, Slovenia became independent state and started to prepare its own criminal code, uh, and it took quite a while, three years, to, to, to wrote it. In 1994, we got our first uh, official criminal code, uh, but it did not last very long because in 2008 uh, we received the new criminal code which was written in then by three legal experts. So there, were, there's, there, is, there are two groups of experts in Slovenia in criminal law. So one group and the other, and they, they don't like each other very much. So the, the, this code was written by one of the group and then in 2012 the other group that did not like the first criminal code, then amended it due to its, uh, their own uh, legal thinking. So, but even though we had this kind of tension between legal experts in Slovenia, uh, it was always the fact that the criminal code was written by legal experts, so criminal lawyers. It was never only a political part or political act because the politicians did not dare to, to write the offenses in the criminal code because it was such an important act, so it was always left to the experts. But then, in 2020, we received our first political criminal code uh, that uh, extended the statute of limitations on all sexual offenses. So, so, this was the first time in our criminal law history that the criminal experts had no saying uh, in the amendment of the criminal code. Uh, and as it is now, the statute of limitations for murder in Slovenia is 30 years, which is okay, reasonable, but for rape, it is 60 years. So, of course, this is not coherent. It doesn't make sense. How can a lesser offense took longer to, for the criminal to, to, to expire than uh, a much more serious offense, murder? So this was uh, criminal experts, we began to worry what's going on, but then in 2021, I say that descent into madness began because uh, we have a political organization, it's called 8th of March, which is a political group um, representing the power of women. For, so they're fighting for women's rights, which is, of course, quite okay, but they're a political group, they're not legal experts, uh, and then they proposed a new definition of criminal offense of rape. Uh, and of course, their definition did not include any kind of coercion and any kind of force, um, only lack of consent. And of course, uh, legal experts were very worried. So what is going on here? We were not included in uh, drafting this proposal. We, this is a, polit a political group. How can a political group write criminal uh, legislation? Uh, but since this was a political movement, uh, all the criminal experts that were against this proposed law uh, were in the media uh, defined as sexist, uh, hater of women, uh, bigots, and so on. So they used media coverage to shut us down. Uh, and what was the final effect? This political text that was written completely by pol political group, no legal expert was, uh, was joined in, in writing this text, and no legal expert, no criminal law expert uh, said that this is, go is a good act, uh, was then put into our criminal code. So, of course, legal experts right now in Slovenia, are, we are quite worried because a political, political groups in the future can now write uh, a criminal, criminal text, uh, and we are worried whether we will have a, have a way to criticize new legal acts or will the media shut us down as it did uh, with this last amendment 
that is, of course, quite uh, problematic. So this is where we are now in Slovenia. So this is for my part, and Maya, please, uh, for, the, for the second part. Thank you very much. Uh, greetings, everyone. Uh, let me just briefly present the content of Slovenia chapter titled Criminal Policy in Slovenia and Overview of uh, Criminal Legal Regulation. Uh, the chapter begins with a brief historical overview of the development of criminal law in Yugoslavia and later Slovenia. With the formation of Yugoslavia, the country inherited six different legal areas due to several different criminal law acts that were enforced at the same time in otherwise different parts of the same country there were needs and aspirations for a unified criminal law system that would apply to <coughs> the entire country. Through the years, Yugoslavia began drafting its own penal code as well as a special section including a list of crimes and sanctions. It was important to adhere strictly to the principle of legality which would prevent the arbitrariness of the authorities and protect the rights of citizens, thus making them the main object of criminal protection. As Professor said, in 1991, Slovenia gained its independence and uh, with the uh, disintegration of Yugoslavia and adopted its own constitution, thus making it um, necessary to establish its own modern criminal law, which would no longer be tied to past communism patterns. Slovenia adopted its own Criminal Procedure Act and Criminal Code as Substantive Criminal Law Act, these were both modernized and made in comparison with foreign European criminal law regimes. Following a brief historical overview, the chapter continues with concluding thoughts about criminal law in relation to the standards of democratic rule of law and the impact of politics. The connection can be seen in the amendments to criminal laws, which are sometimes highly political motivated and pursue a tendency towards greater repression. In early years of independence, Slovenia fought inappropriate and irresponsible rushing with novelties and changes. Neither some substantive nor procedural criminal law should change under the hello effect or political pressure, as this is in sharp contrast to the democratic state governed by the rule of law, which we Slovenian advocated from our independence. Slovenia criminal law changed and developed, respecting the human rights and the fundamental freedoms which is therefore one of the fundamental uh, precognitions of a democratic state with the independence of the judiciary as one of the fundamental postulates. Uh, the Slovenian chapter then concludes the analysis of general principles of criminal law, the general concept of crime, and a system of penalties and sanctions. The essence of understanding criminal law as a system in a particular country is understanding the fundamental principles that guide the criminal law. Main Slovenian and presented principles are principle of legitimacy le, uh, and restricted repression in connection with the rule of law, principle of humanity and principle of <coughs> individualization of criminal san sanctions, principle of legality of a fair trial, formality, material truth and the debate principle, principle of immediacy and the free judgment of evidence, assumption of innocence, uh, and the principle of indubio pro reo, and principle of subjective or guilt responsibility. In addition to general principle, a precise and clear theoretical breakdown of the general concept of crime is of key importance of criminal law theory in, in practice. Former criminal law theory of Yugoslavia uh, contained an element of a danger which modern criminal uh, law theory did not advocate as well as the institution of fact of minor importance and the application of the uh, principle of faith instigation. With independence and the desire to join the European Union, it was necessary to modernize the national legal framework and bring it closer to European standards. With the adoption of the new Slovenian criminal code, radical changes took place within the general concept of criminal offense. In this, con in this context, there were changes in the basic assumptions of criminality, which constitutes the structure of the crime, and in the spirit of the principle of legality, the very definition of criminal uh, offense changed. Today, a criminal offense is a human unlawful conduct, which the law defines as a criminal offense due to the urgent protection of legal values, and at the same time determines its signs and punishment for the guilt perpetrator. 
Compared to the previous definition, this requires a more consistent uh, justification of the notion of criminal offense on the perpetrator's conduct and no longer on the notion of danger, which was excluded from the definition of criminal offense. It is therefore shaped by three key elements, namely the fulfillment of the nature of the offense, legality, and guilt. Following general principles and the general concept of crime, the Slovenian chapter contains a brief overview of punishment and sanction <coughs> system in Slovenia. Today, at the global level, of the possible to it is possible to talk about abandoning the rehabilitation paradigm in global trend of tougher uh, penalties, which is also followed by the Slovenian criminal system. Nevertheless, it, uh, Slovenia has not completely abandoned re the rehabilitation function of punishment, so in this sense, it can be compared with some Scandinavian models. As part of this, the punishment of perpetrators with alert, uh, alternative sanctions uh, has been increasing in Slovenia in recent years. Alternative sanctions are a form of punishment that is presented as an alternative to imprisonment with the fundamental aim of replacing short-term imprisonment and reducing imprisonment in general, but only if the ruling judge considers that such a sanction will have a sufficient deterrent effect on the perpetrator and that he will not commit a crime again. Regarding to the system of criminal sanctions, there could be no death penalty in Slovenia legal system as it is irreparable. The requirement of remediability of penalties is important in practice, mainly due to miscarriages of justice, where the effect of penalties can be remediate at least in some extent. Uh, last but not, not, but not least, we wrote about Slovenian criminal law in relation to the legal framework of the European Union. To conclude, we can say that Slovenian criminal law follows European standards, which in practice can be seen mostly in the increased use of alternative criminal sanctions for perpetrators, which are mostly used in Slovenia case law when there are not sanctions for serious crimes, and it is perpetrator's first time committing a criminal offense. However, Slovenia faces various problems. The most pronounced are inappropriate attempts by politicians <laughs> and the ruling elite to break into criminal law, too fast and sometimes not well considered changes, and in practice, our problems are mostly pronounced in the duration of open criminal cases or excessive delays in trials. Regardless of the above, it should be pointed that in Slovenia, that Slovenia is one of the countries with the lowest uh, prison population rate in Europe. Uh, this is mainly due to the lower average length of imprisonment and typical of, uh, that is typical for the Europe. Slovenia can overall boast that its majority is still considered it's a safe country. Thank you for listening.